Okay, there we go. Had it. Um, yes, the wireless mics work. Um, not only is this uh, Allison Druin, I'm, I'm one of the directors of the International Children's Digital Library, but this is also Ben Peterson, one of the technical wizards and the co-director of the Digital Library. Um, of course, where do we start? We start by reading. So let's, let's read this book. Text a little small, let's bring that up. Okay, my home was in Croatia. It is a small country, but a beautiful country with many green forests, cornfields with large blue sea and numerous islands. Ten years ago, I used to live on, on an old factory chimney in a small village surrounded by sunflowers. Every day I would listen to the voices of happy children coming from the nearby school. Listening to them, I learned about the splendor of my country. Go to the next page. Oh, Ben, I can't read that side. It's getting cut off over there. Um, all right, I'll read over here. But one day, that wonderful picture disappeared. The school was closed, the sunflowers were run over, the houses were burnt and my chimney was pulled down. I had no home anymore. I did not know what was happening. Somebody mentioned the war, but I did not know the meaning of the war. I left on a search for a new chimney to build my nest on. During my flight, I saw forests and villages in flames, kids without parents and destroyed cities down below. I had a tear in my eye, but in the abundance of tears, nobody could notice a new one. This is a book from Croatia. It is one of thousands of books in the International Children's Digital Library from over 40 countries, given to us from national libraries, from uh, publishers, from authors, just as this one was. And Ben and I are going to demonstrate to you for a few minutes what's possible with digital media, books, and children. What you'll find out is that this is a digital library that's not like any other digital library. And it's because we partner with children every single day. Um, the International Children's Digital Library started as a research project at the University of Maryland funded by the National Science Foundation. It's now a nonprofit uh, foundation. But basically, where are the bookshelves? It doesn't look like what we know as a library. And why? because children helped us design it. They're in our labs twice a week and uh, two weeks over the summer. And um, what they told us is, hey, I want to look for all the orange books. Ben, can we look for all the orange books that make me happy? OK, so there's all the orange books that make me happy. Ah. But you know what? No, no, no. I want to look for the yellow books. No, I knew it. I want to look for the yellow books that are picture books that are short because I know that, that Michael hasn't given me a lot of time. So, OK. And oh, yeah, I want to look uh, for Farsi books because I, I think that I actually have in the digital library could be uh, the uh, uh, Iranian children's digital library. We have so many Farsi books. OK. Ah, OK. Colors in my poems. I know that I can see color on my, on, in my digital library here, so let's read this book. Um, now, let's see. Ah, you know what? I don't like to read a normal book. OK, I can see the whole book here, but what I like to do is I like to read a book like it makes me feel like I'm on a merry-go-round. So hey, Ben, let's, uh, let's do a spiral book reader. Um, actually, in our digital library, you can search for books in multiple ways. You can read your books in multiple ways. Why? Because that's what children told us they want. And so, um, and so what they want to do is flip when they're selecting a book. They want to flip through the pages. So Ben, let's just look at a few of these. Oh, wait, I, I know the purple one. Yeah, I like the purple one. Can we go there? OK. Uh, you know, the only problem is I, I forgot my, uh, how to read Farsi. So could we, um, could we actually go to, uh, yeah, there, can we? Can we actually go in there and, and see if we can read, uh, read this Farsi book in English? Well, it turns out we have over 500 volunteer uh, translators today. And they come from all over the world. And we are now have um, the beginnings of this project. And yes, now, for the first time in the world, you can read Farsi books from Iran. It's the largest digital collection in the world um, in, our, in our library. But there are also. Uh, books from Croatia, Croatia, as you saw, New Zealand, Mongolia, Kenya, um, all different kinds of things. And I'm, I'm getting to the end of my time. He's going to take me off. But let me tell you that, uh, that 
essentially we have worked with children over the last six years to understand the impact of this digital library. Um, and so, in fact, we found out that by having access to this library, it expands children's worldview. They say, oh, children that are different from me, aha, I understand. Children that are the same as me, I understand. It also motivates them when they see books that they want to know about children's experiences in other countries and expands what we think about the world. And in fact, the mission of the, the digital library is, is not necessarily your traditional digital uh, literacy mission. The mission is actually to help children understand diversity and to help world tolerance and to help people understand we can do this through digital literacy. And with that, I want to invite you all to come see us at the demo session later. Um, and also, for those of you that have books, that have talents, that, have, uh, that want to partner, please come see us because this is the largest digital book collection in the world for children, and we want to make, bring it out to the whole world. Thank you.